Hey guys, welcome back to Down on Movies. Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, this is my episode two of my Rank This series. Um, obviously, there's uh, a lot of movies out there with different franchises and sequels and all sorts, but this one I'm doing in particular because this is one I actually really enjoy watching, even though it's not like a scary movie or in some people's eyes, even Halloween movies. Uh, I love watching this series um, around October because of the feel, the atmosphere, the witches and war, you know, warlocks and all sorts of stuff that are in this uh, series. Plus tomorrow, Little Strawberry will be making her return to my channel in voice form and probably some video. Uh, we will be doing a podcast based on this as well, and that is the Harry Potter franchise. Let me get a little smile in there. Yeah, let me know. For the, <laughs> the thumbnail stuff. Uh, yeah, so there is that. Now, um, the way I have this ranked is obviously from my least favorite to favorite, um, and this is very subjective, so I apologize if this is not in any order um, that people agree with, but I'm curious to know y'all's uh, y'all's ranking of the film. So now let's get started. Um, the problem I faced uh, ranking all these was that they are um, all amazing. I love the whole series as a whole. There are bits and pieces I'm sure you can all, any one of us can pick out uh, that we didn't enjoy as much, but um, I truly enjoyed the entire series overall. So this was very, very tough, uh, but let's get started. So my least favorite, or the one I watched the least, even if I can't say my least favorite because I love him, is uh, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Um, obviously, um, this one has some really monumental moments and things like that, but to me, it was more of a transitional one from the fourth and sixth. Um, I always look at it as just like the filler one. Um, this is one I, I like, I, sorry, I keep swapping because there's a glare. Um, the, like, the way it was directed, I liked kind of the least. There were some things about it I, I didn't enjoy. Um, obviously, this is one where uh, Sirius Black dies, and that's a huge event uh, in Harry Potter's life, but to me, this is the one I watched the least, so I had to rank it last. Second up is Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 1. Uh, the reason I have this one there is because this one is a giant tease, and I get why they split it up into two films. I absolutely love this one. If you watch it back-to-back -back with Part 2, then you will love it. Uh, you know, it makes more sense and you'll love it even more. But when I saw this in the theater, I was so, so excited because uh, I read the books and everything like that. And the way they cut it off, I'm just I'm just like, oh, my Lord. Um, you know, there's to me, it's just the weakest of the parts. And, and the other films are, are a little bit ranked higher, in my opinion. Next up is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The Sorcerer's Stone, again, another one that is fantastic. Um, they, <laughs> the first one in the whole series. Um, I was, I think this came out in 2001, so I was like 9 or 10. Depending on when it came out in 2001, I was either 9 or 10. Uh, when I saw it in the theater, and um, I never would have thought in a million years that I would have grown up with this with this series, you know? And I think there's a lot of room for casting purposes for there to be a huge, giant dump taken uh, as far as how the casting went if it didn't work out or if a lot of them quit or got really awkward growing up, you know? I know um, they had a lot of, some, what was it, um, Daniel Radcliffe had some issues growing up, I think, you know, with some alcohol issues and things like that, so there was almost room for potential for him to kind of slip off, uh, but this was the starter, they started off strong, they ended strong. Next up is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. In my opinion, this is the, uh, another one that's really great, but this is a little bit lower on my list, only because, you know, again, they're kids, they have, they can only do so much. The story, there is some dark moments, you know, you have the giant ass snake that they have to fight off and all these people are getting frozen and paralyzed, you know, after they make eye contact. And this is kind of the second, you know, I don't want to say, I forgot what I was about to say. This is the one where they, they attempt, they kind of, they tanker, tanker, tinker with some uh, darker elements. But obviously, again, they're kids. You can only do so much. So it is ranked kind of in the middle. Next up uh, is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Now, this one is a lot of people's favorites. Uh, or, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people I meet, they tell me this is their favorite book and movie-wise. Um, this one, I just like... Uh, the other one, the, the three that are above it, I like, just, in my opinion, I like just a little bit more. But this one, I absolutely love the way it was shot. I love that kind of dark element. I love the story of this one. I think they did a really great job. You know, when you when you deal with time travel, there's a lot of room for error, especially translating it from book to movie. Um, and they did a really, really great job. And uh, so, yeah. Next up on my list is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Now, 
This one uh, is my favorite book. I absolutely love this one. I read Goblet of Fire a lot more than I actually watched this, the, watched the movie. Uh, but this one is, I watched, you know, I still to this day just really, really love. Um, this is the one where Voldemort gets to come back. Uh, or he finally comes back in full physical form. Uh, Cedric Diggory dies, which is, you know, sets a huge tone for them because now they can, the kids can die, which is a huge moment in this series. Um, I love the whole tournament. Um, I love the different clues they have to find. I love just the underwater world. You know, Harry goes down. There's just so many things that I love about this one. Uh, I've been watching, uh, I like that, um, that meme or gif that people have been making about when he's like, they show that passage from the book and it's like, you know, uh, Dumbledore says quite calmly, uh, Harry, did you put your name in the gob in the goblet? Uh, and then they jump to the clip from this and he's freaking the hell out. Uh, I think that's pretty funny. So Goblet of Fire, I absolutely love. So it's a little bit higher. It's my third favorite film. Next up is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Now, the reason this one's so high is, again, because it's a huge moment. Uh, Draco, you know, is supposed to be set up to be this, this the next, you know, take over the Dark Lord and be part of the dark side, the dark side. Um, and he kind of chokes. Dumbledore dies. Snape jumps to the bad team. Obviously, you find out other reasons later. Uh, but he jumps to that. And so there's a lot of room or a lot of things that kind of just they're falling the hell apart for these guys. Um, and it's so good. I, and, I, and I think it's beautifully shot as well. And I love, I love seeing the whole Tom uh, Riddle stuff, you know, his history with Dumbledore, him kind of playing on the dark side, him just kind of turning to, you know, the Dark Lord. And now this one, I think, I don't think a lot of people will agree with me that this is the best one or their favorite one. And, and I'm not even going to say it's the best film, but to me, it's my favorite one because it's just the, it's the ending. It's part two. They did a really great job. Um, I know a lot of people don't like that end with the train scene and, and thought it was a little extra and it probably wasn't needed, but they did a really great job, uh, in a whole, you know, I think they, you know, I think they did the book justice ending it. I think that it was really cool getting to finally just grow up with all these guys. Again, it was real depressing seeing all these people you grew up with starting to die a lot in these movies. Uh, but so far I've met three of the four Weasleys. I met both, uh, the twins and the sister and, uh, and they were really cool and watching them just go through a bunch of heartache in this one. I mean, it was just depressing as hell, but uh, it was really, really cool. And I loved it. And I remember being in the theater, watching it just all end and uh, feeling really good about it. So that is it, guys. That is my ranking of the Harry Potter films. Let me know down below. What is, how do you rank the films? Uh, what do, you, do you agree or disagree with my list? And uh, tell me why. Let's talk about it. Let's, uh, let me know down below some of your rankings uh, or where you would adjust mine even. But thank you guys for all the support again. Um, I will do another one of these rank ones, probably a Halloween-themed one a little bit later. Uh, but thank you so much to everybody who has been watching. Uh, if you can keep giving that thumbs up, showing that support, and just comment, 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 comment. I like trying to respond to you guys and talk. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed already, do hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you real soon, guys. And thank you again. And we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.